everyone. So, these are the stitches we are doing. Alright. So looks like I'm going to be doing it from here. So this is my cousin Madison. She's a 13 year old with Down syndrome. And she's had many ups and downs because of Down syndrome. Um, it's been exhilarating to watch her triumph, but it's also been excruciating to watch her struggle. And unfortunately, the downs can have a lasting impact. Um, due to complications with pneumonia, it's led to her inability to walk. So that's been pretty hard to see. Um, and last week in an interview with my Aunt Deanna, she explained a typical morning for Madison like this. Madison's morning is just like anyone else's, but with some added difficulty. Um, she eats breakfast, she gets dressed, she shaves, you know, like I said, just like anyone else's. The main difficulty is if she doesn't want to do these things, well, they aren't getting done. Down syndrome kids are stubborn. Many mornings I sent her to school with her hair not dressed and pajama pants, simply because it just wasn't worth the trauma that the fight caused for both of us. Um, so according to the National Down Syndrome Society, Down syndrome occurs in one out of every 700 births. And there are more than 400,000 people living with Down syndrome in the United States. Today, I'll be simply informing you about these people. Um, I'll be telling you about the different types of Down syndrome and some interesting facts about Down syndrome. Um, I'd like to start by telling you what Down syndrome is. According to Dr. Mandel, in 2014, humans usually have 46 chromosomes in every cell, um, 23 inherited from each parent. Um, so due to the extra copy of chromosome 21, individuals with Down syndrome have 47 chromosomes in their cells. And now this additional DNA leads to the um, physical characteristics and the developmental problems associated with Down syndrome. And chromosomes are simply just DNA and other proteins. Now I'd like to tell you about three different types of Down syndrome. And first we have trisomy 21. And I like to explain trisomy 21 like this. In the first trimester baby's development, the chromosomes try to do their own thing. Like, hey, let's add a little something extra to this baby's makeup. Okay, you know, let's add an extra 21st chromosome. And this is actually the chromosomes of someone with Down syndrome. You see here there are 22 chromosomes, and this is the additional copy. So all together, they have three copies of chromosome 21. Um, and trisomy 21 is the most common type of Down syndrome. 90% of Down syndrome cases are caused by trisomy 21. Um, and some medical complications that are associated with Down syndrome are um, delayed speech and the rate at which they learn, and these are also common in any type of Down syndrome. So second, we have translocational. And in 2014, Heather Clark used a medical reviewer puts it like this. Translocation Down syndrome refers to the type of Down syndrome um, that's caused by rearranged chromosome material. In this case, there are three 21st chromosomes, just like there are in trisomy 21, but one of the 21st chromosomes is attached to another chromosome instead of being separate. So here you can actually see the two chromosomes. This is where they break apart um, and rearrange and then reconnect to a separate chromosome here. And translocational is the only type that's hereditary and three to four percent of babies born with Down syndrome have translocational, so it is actually the rarest type. Um, and third and lastly, we have mosaicism. And in 2014, Kathleen Sturgis, who is a certified genetic counselor, says, every cell in the human body comes from one initial cell, the fertilized egg, <coughs> which is also called the zygote. After fertilization, the zygote proceeds to divide. As new cells have the same number of chromosomes as the original cell, um, however, mistakes sometimes happen, and one cell ends up with a different number of chromosomes. From then on, all cells originating from that cell will have the different chromosomal numbers. And here you can see the egg being fertilized, and this would be the zygote, and this would be where the cell has the different chromosomal number. And here's where it multiplies, and this is just simply a person with mosaicism um, Down syndrome. All right, so let's move on to some interesting facts. As told by Leslie Alboff in 2014, who is a manager at the Langdon Down Center, John Langdon Down is considered the father of Down syndrome. 
He was the first physician who first characterized Down syndrome as a separate form of mental disability in 1862. Before he coined the name Down syndrome, he thought to have meant it Mongoloid due to their facial similarities with the Mongol numerals. It's not very explicit. Um, and in ancient times, many infants who were born with disabilities were either killed or abandoned. medical director of the Anna and Johnson Center for Down Syndrome explained how a number of um, art pieces were believed to portray Down Syndrome, including pottery from 8500 and the 16th century painting, The Adoration of the Christ Child. And here's that painting. This person here is the one who is believed to have Down Syndrome. And you can see how they have the almond-shaped eyes, kind of a flattened face instead of an upturned nose. On that same note, we can see many actors with Down syndrome on the screen today, um, such as Lauren Potter, who plays Becky and Davy, and Jamie Brewster, who's famous for her role in um, or her roles in American Horror Story. She's also the first model with Down syndrome to make it onto the catwalk. And here is Lauren Potter on the set of Glee. This is Jamie Brewster on the catwalk. And this possibly happened the Thursday before last, so it's a preview at current. Um, for implication, like the only type that is hereditary, and there are many medical problems associated with Down syndrome, such as um, hearing loss and sleep apnea. We also learned that John Lincoln Down is the father of Down syndrome, and we also learned that Down syndrome is frequently seen in art and media. 